and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create two apps, one native mobile app and one desktop web app using Adala which share the same database, basically allowing you to create um, a user-facing mobile app and a kind of um, cloud or customer, uh, not, not customers, an admin-facing um, desktop web app. So basically they will share the same database and this will allow you to have some form of uh, moderation or even give your employees the ability to moderate uh, your app, moderate the users and uh, make changes within the app uh, as they have the access to the same database. So what you will need is just an Adalo account and you can sign up for free. And um, what we're going to build exactly is going to be really simple. Um, the focus isn't going to be the mm -hmm. application itself that we're going to build, um, but actually more the sharing of the database. But what we're going to do, we're going to build a simple uh, directory of products that are sold. So let's say something like eBay or Craigslist, where users that have the mobile app can list um, an item. We're not going to build in all the functionality of payment and actually ordering something. We're actually going to focus on um, the moderation of product. So let's go ahead and start by clicking here on native mobile app. We want to build a mobile app first. This is going to be the user facing app. Okay. We're going to choose a blank template here. Click next. And the name of our app is going to be, um, let's draw, just call it um, listings app. Okay. Again, let's, we can change the primary color as always. Let's change it to red maybe. The secondary color can stay as it is. And let's click create. And we'll be brought into the Adalo app editor as always. We have our sign up page here and our login page here. So basically, the user has to sign up or log in in order to access your app and in order to access the home screen. Um, we're going to keep things really simple. We're going to head over straight to the database and we're going to create another collection. Okay. And this collection is going to be called listing. Okay, and let's click add. And a listing consists of a name, of course. It's going to consist of a price, which is of type number. Okay, let's call it price in US dollars. Um, it's going to consist of an image. Okay, image. Maybe let's also add a description, which is a text. Okay, description. And at last, of course, the most important one is going to have a relation to a user. So that means a user can have multiple listings and a listing belongs to one user. Okay, and uh, let's call this made by, or submitted by user. Okay, and we have automatically the same collect, uh, relation here under users to listings, which is um, created listings. Okay, now we're going to create another property here under listing. This is the important property which we're going to use to kind of um, decide whether a listing is approved or not by an admin. We're going to add a simple property which is yet yeah, true or false, so a Boolean, and we're going to call this approved. Okay, um, and this can be either true, which means this product is approved by an admin, or it's false, which means it hasn't been approved um, yet. Okay, so um, we're going to go here and add an, a tab bar now because we're going to have two menus basically. Let's just drag that here. Let's make everything inactive except the first and second tab. Okay, um, let's just add a simple list here. Okay. And this is going to be a list of all the um, listings, basically. So there's a list of listings. And now important, it shouldn't be all listings. It should be, okay, where the field approved is true. Okay, so only approved listings are displayed here. Okay, great. We can now go ahead here under title, and that's the listings name. Subtitle, you could change to the price, maybe. So the price in US dollars, add a dollar sign before that, like this. Um, and the left section is the image, which is going to be the current listings image. Okay, quite simple. Let's create another screen. Um, let's choose the app bar screen here. Let's call this um, just listing. It's the listing page to create the screen. And let's say, okay, when one of the listings here is pressed, we want to link to our screen listing with a um, push transition. This means Adala will send over the data to this page. We now have access to this data under title. We can change the title to a dynamic title. This should be the current listing, which is the listing that has been basically sent over uh, the name of it. Okay, and we have access to all data. So we can search for an image, just drag that here simply, change that to the current listings image. Beneath that, we can just add a text, maybe uh, center this like this, edit styles here, uh, make that a bit bigger, and again, center that and change that to the current listing's name. Let's also have the pr price beneath this. So I'm going to add um, a dollar here. And this is going to be the current listing's price. 
And at last, we're going to have the um, current listings um, description. Okay. And that's basically it. We're going to keep it really, really simple. Okay. What we're going to do now, we're going to create our last screen within the customer app, which is going to be the profile screen. Let's go ahead here, change the second tab to uh, profile. Okay. Or my profile. Change the icon to something like uh, maybe prof or mail user. What can we use? Let's check. Um, this maybe okay, and let's add another screen now um, So here add screen. Let's actually add um, a blank screen call that profile Okay, I'm gonna copy this app bar here paste that put that here and copy the tab bar as well paste that here Difference here is now we're going to change the title to my profile Okay, and here we're going to change the active tab to the second tab and we're going to go back here. We're going to say, okay, when the second tab on the home screen is pressed, we want to link over to our profile page with no transition. That's important. And here, if the home tab is pressed, which is the first tab, we want to link back to our home page um, with no transition. Awesome. Okay, so let's finish that off. Uh, let's add a list here as well. Or actually, we can just copy that. Okay, um, copy this list here and paste that here. Okay, and let's add a text beneath uh, above this and actually let's go inside here um, and let's have a text here which is going to say um, uh, submitted listings okay these are the listings that have been submitted but not yet approved and we're going to simply copy this text again and we're going to change this here to approved listings okay copy this um, page here put that here and what we're going to do simply now, we're going to say, okay, these should be the submitted listings, which means these should be all the locked in users listings, which are where approved is true. And this should be all the locked in users listings where approved is false. And that's basically it. Okay. Um, so this gives the user an overview of which of his listings are currently active, have been approved, and which he submitted, which have not been yet approved. Uh, at last, let's add a button actually. So let's add a floating button. Here, an action button, button, put that here, and we're simply going to add another screen now. And this is going to be a form screen. Let's call that create or submit listing. Okay, create a screen. This is going to be simple. We're going to go into the form here. We want to say that this is of type listing, and this should create a new listing. So we have to uh, enlarge the screen a bit. So put that down here like this. As you can see, all the fields can be changed. The approved field should obviously not be uh, changed, so we can go into the form here and um, under fields, we want to delete the approved field and want to add an automatic field where approved is always false on default. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so when this is pressed, uh, let's create a connection here. So when the button is pressed, we want to link to our submit listing page. The user is brought to this page, can fill in the information, click on create listing, and um, this listing will be added to his list of submitted listings and it's not yet approved until uh, an admin has approved this listing. Okay, awesome. So um, let's actually um, go ahead and create some sample data or actually let me um, preview this application here. Okay, and we don't have the admin app yet, but let me simply sign up here. So I'm going to enter an email here, uh, info at, info at nocodehq.com, enter a password. Gonna call that Noel, sign up, and we should be brought to the home page. Currently, it's empty, of course, we don't have any listings, so let's head over to our profile. We haven't submitted any listings and we haven't any, uh, have no approved listings. So let's add a new listing, enter a name, let's say, I don't know, I'm selling um, uh, my t shirt, okay, for $20. Let's add an image. So I've just added a random placeholder image here, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but you should get the, uh, the idea. Um, description is selling my old t-shirt the condition is still great okay let's create the listing and what happens now we have our first um, listing which is displayed here but let's take a look what the issue is it says approved listings my t-shirt this shouldn't be approved this should be under submitted listing so let's go back let's check here um, and we did the wrong uh, order basically this here should be where approved is true, and this here should be where approved is false. So exactly the opposite. Small mistake. Let's preview again. And now, uh, if we go to our profile, 
um, our t-shirt is under submitted listings, okay, but it's not yet approved. What does that mean? It's not displayed on the home page and therefore it's not displayed to other users. Other users that open the app and browse through all the listings won't see your t-shirt because it hasn't been approved by an admin yet, okay? Once this t-shirt has been approved, it's going to be displayed here under approved listings and um, it will also be then displayed on the home page. And that's what we're going to do now. Um, again, really simple. We're going to go here and we're going to click on create a new app. This time we're going to actually use a desktop web app. You could use a native mobile app, but I think for an admin app, you might want to use a desktop web app. Okay, let's click next. Let's um, leave this blank. Okay, uh, click next again. And now the important part comes, um, we want to go to advanced options and want to share the database with an existing app. And this is going to be the listings app, the one we just created. Okay, that's an important step, otherwise uh, this kind of feature won't work. So you want to share the database with your customer app. Click done. Give this a name. So we're going to call this listings admin. The color, again, you can change as you like. I'm just going to leave it as it is right now. Click create. And we're brought into another page now, uh, or another uh, editor now. So let's add a screen. Okay. Um, let's use an app bar screen here. Let's create that. And let's just call this admin. Okay. Let's create that. Um, Actually, let's remove the left icon here, okay? Um, and what you could do, you could also kind of add a sign up page so users have to be logged in in order to access your app. And we're just going to keep it as it is right now. We're just going to assume users won't have access to this admin app. And what are we going to do? We're going to keep things really simple, okay? We're going to have um, a simple tab bar here, okay? We're going to make the fifth tab, the fourth tab, and all the tabs um, not active, uh, not visible, only the first and the second tab. Our first tab is going to be um, new listings, okay, or submitted listings. And the second tab is going to be um, active listings, okay. So active listings will display all the listings which have been approved, which are within the application, and submitted listings are listings which haven't been approved yet, okay. So we're going to stay in the submitted listings page here, um, and we're going to add a simple list once again. Uh, put that in the center here and maybe add a text above that. So let's call that um, new listings and let's uh, center that, okay, like this. And this is going to be a list of, and as you can see, we have access to the collection of our listings app. Without actually um, creating these collections here, we can use that already. So let's choose listing here. This should be all the listings where the field approved is false. Okay, again, the title should be the listing name, subtitle maybe the price, okay. Um, we could also add the description here in a more detailed um, list, but we're just going to leave it as it is. The left section should be the, the of type image, should be the current listings image. And now the important part, for the right section, we want to have an icon, which is let's change the icon to maybe a check mark like this. And let's make that green. And when this is pressed, we want to update the current listing, which is pressed, and we want to update the field to approve the approved field to true. And that's basically it. What th what's this going to do? This is going to show you a list of all listings which haven't been approved yet. And when an admin clicks on the check mark, this listing will be automatically approve approved and therefore will also automatically be listed within the user or customer facing app as a public listing. And that's all you have to do. We're just going to create a second screen for the active listings here. So um, actually, let's go here under screens. Uh, let's just um, copy the screen maybe. Okay, like this, paste that. And the second screen here we're going to call, um, let's rename that to um, active. Okay. And this is going to be, um, let's change the title here to active listings. And this list, we're going to keep the same except this should be where approved is true, okay? And here we're going to basically do the opposite for the right section. We're going to say, okay, let's make this to a cancel icon. Let's make this red, okay? And when this is pressed, we actually want to do the opposite. We want to disapprove a, um, a listing, okay? So let's say we don't like it anymore or it should be taken off the platform. We want to change the, uh, the approved field to false, okay? Last thing we have to do is just create the, uh, create the relation here. So again, when the second tab is pressed, we want to link to our um, active page with no transition. 
and if here if the let's actually change the active tab to the second tab and if the first tab is pressed we want to link back to our admin page with no transition and that is basically it let's quickly preview that okay and uh, as you might remember we already had yep a first listing which hasn't been approved yet the my t-shirt listing that's the thumbnail that's the price uh, we have no active listings yet but let's go ahead and say well we like this listing let's approve this i'm going to click that this is now gone because there is no listing we have to, uh, which is not approved yet. But if we go to active listings, you can see we have approved the My T-shirt listing and it's now active. We can disapprove it again. It's going to be visible here again, and you can do this as often as you like. Okay. Let's now actually head back to our customer-facing app, and um, as before, the only difference, as you can see, it works already. The My T-shirt listing is now publicly visible on the home page. So all other users will be able to see this listing because an admin has approved it. We can now disapprove it again and should be automatically hidden here. If we refresh that actually, you can see it's gone now, okay? Because it's not approved anymore. Let's approve it again actually. Go back here to a dialogue, refresh that, and it's now here present again under the home page. If we go to my profile, it's now under approved listings and not anymore under submitted listings. And that's basically the gist of it. Um, quite simple, but you could do this for all kinds of applications. And to be honest, almost all kinds of applications require you to have an admin, uh, admin access uh, for your employees or people working together with you um, in, uh, to moderate your application, approve or disapprove certain listings, also make changes to users. You don't, you don't always want to go into the uh, Adalo collections. Uh, basically give you um, the opportunity to have access to your app in a nice UI and also in a separate application without um, um, using the customer facing app. So yeah, that's basically it. Quite a nice way um, to uh, build uh, multiple apps uh, using one database um, using a dialog. So I hope you learned something and I'm going to see you guys for next tutorial with NoCreateHQ. Bye.